Welcome, wonderful people of Biafra. Every day, every passing day, this Nigerian state continues to show you the one or two reasons why you should not, you know, continue to stay as one Nigeria. They continue to show you one or two reasons why these political leaders are the evil that has happened to each and every one of us. They are the arrow or the weapon that has fashioned against our well-being every day they continue to show you reasons now let me show i will show you more than one reasons and i'm going to also show you um who are the true citizens of this nation you are going to see these are recent things so recent happening videos messages you are going to see them you are going to hear them and so i want to just show you this very one first now this man was spied i think yesterday or the, the day before yesterday in enugu state his name is honorable agk ugweze he is from he came and he was by that he came road now this man report has it that he is contesting for local government chairman of issues or local government in enugu the illegitimate governor Pitamba has sent his talks to go and buy this man and they have buy him election has never has not started they have started buying each and every one of them this is the mentality the zoo has placed them into something that is abomination in Biafra land it has turned to a normal occurrence that was how Hopu Zodima was terrorizing Imo State, buying people. Even the, 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 the Labour Party governorship uh, aspirant was buying in his, I think was buying in his house in Lagos. They continue to buy each other. Is this the kind of uh, 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 environment you want to live? Is this the environment you would like to stay in? These are people who do not have conscience, who do not have love in them, who cannot even dissipate good tidings, dissipate love, dissipate, you know, good things. These are people who will always be at the end of injustice. They will always be at the end of, you know, every form of uh, 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 evil against every other person. You would find them at the helm of affairs. And why is it so? Because they have aligned in the political climb and they have, you know, become stooges to the Fulani Caliphate and anything they ask them to do, they are doing. So they ask them, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stay in this position. Do everything within your power. Silence everybody. We are going to protect you. Nobody is going to charge you. And they continue to commit all manner of atrocities against the land, against the people of the land, and nobody is talking. These are the people you want us to stay in the same space with. These are the people you want us to stay in the same space as. I want you to listen to the Prime Minister and what he said recently about the happenings in the East and why you should be happy that these people are running away from the East and do not want to stay in the East any longer. After that, I'm going to show you how and who are the true citizens of this nation. Listen to the Prime Minister. So my Biafra people, what the Biafra liberation have achieved so far is to make the rich, the criminals, uncomfortable. So anytime you hear them cry, celebrate it. Anytime you hear them say, oh, nobody can marry in the East again, celebrate it. Because the poor are getting married in the East. The poor, the people that they made poor, the people that they rendered useless are getting married every day and celebrating their marriage in the east not them so all those nonsense they build in their villages they will oh, this one don't build mansion no. from the money that is supposed to use to build hotel they build their hospital build road build school they use it to build their mansion and now they are crying they can't go to their mansion celebrate it is an achievement number one if you don't know this know it now that one of the ten that the Biafra liberation have done is to make these criminals uncomfortable in their own villages. They can never come there. When they tell you, what, have you, what, what did you do? What did you do? Why? People are not coming to, people are not, are not, are not, are not coming to East now to do anything, but people are living there. Those who they have destroyed their future are living there. Those who have, they have destroyed their, their future, 
they are getting married there. Those who they have destroyed their future are going to school there. Only them will not go to school there. Only them will not do their traditional marriage there. But average and ordinary Biafras are doing traditional marriage. That is the achievement of the Biafra liberation. Number one is to make those people uncomfortable and we told them they thought we are joking. You can never sleep in your house. I was listening to Dino Maila the other time. He said, very soon, no, these people will be throwing us in the streets. They will be using stone to chase us. It is happening. Go to your village now and let us see. Animals. Freedom fighting is not a joke. Freedom fighting, especially where the life of people, we have seen the loss of life of Biafra people in millions. Starting from 1970, 1967, 3 million, 3 million Biafrans, children, approximately 5 million people died. So it is not a joke. We must do everything to restore this independence of Biafra to appease over five millions of souls that Nigeria wasted. So we can move ahead. You think what is happening in Nigeria today is just an ordinary thing? Nigeria is caught. Complete. And if you support Nigeria, you are caught. Those running away thinking that in Lagos they will do business. <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't know what is coming. They thought that when they run to Abuja, that is when they are going to do, do business. You don't know what is coming. We guarantee you, you can never enter your village. Because the people you have stolen their future are waiting for you. To devour you there. The people you have destroyed their future, they are waiting for you. Come to your village and stay. Celebrate your Christmas there. Celebrate your, your, this, your hotel. Come build your hotel now. And stay there. The people you destroy their future, they are waiting for you to devour you. That is what you have done. You are blaming Simon Ekpa. Was it Simon Ekpa that encouraged you to go and join politics and start destroying people, people's life and future? Was it Simon Ekpa? Was I there? He didn't consult me. The people you kill their colleagues and dump their corpse in the river, is river, they are waiting for you. It will be also, they can't uh, say, it, all of them have children. Now let them go and do traditional marriage in their village. You know? <laughs> they love Nigeria. They thought that this is going to be everlasting enjoyment. No. It's not, I am telling you the fact. Any day you hear them say they are no longer going to Isto, celebrate. Celebrate is an achievement, number one. Because we say that, first of all, those criminals and corrupt politicians can never enjoy peace while others are dying. Out of their own policy, they made it possible. Now you have heard the position of the PM on this matter. I'm also going to show you uh, uh, the debates in the National Assembly on who, <laughs> this is very unbelievable, arguing a senator is arguing that cows are citizens of this nation. That is the argument they are doing in the National Assembly. I won't just listen, watch and listen. Cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Huh? So, uh, Mr. President, uh, cows are yeah. no citizens of Nigeria. Yeah. You didn't hear yeah, what I said. Senator Nehru, are you arguing with me? No. Uh, I said cows I, are not citizens. The, 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 the section you are referring to is talking about citizens of Nigeria. Yes. And cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Uh, we are talking cows about can come from Niger. They can come from no, Chad, no, no, anywhere. No, no, no. But cows are not citizens. Getting it wrong. So, but, post, 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 your, your point of order is noted. Were rejected. You want to make contribution on the debate? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. But I'm against the idea of restricting movement of Nigerians from one state to another. No, that right, would that would not happen. Right now, right now, citizens of Nigeria are allowed to move from one state to another to establish business without any hindrance whatsoever. It affects everywhere in Nigeria. That yes, yes. Nobody I, can I, restrict I, movement. But citizens of Nigeria, they can move to North Central, North West, uh, North East, South South, and establish their business without they can, any... They can do so, but not with AK-47. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not talking about criminals. You don't understand. I'm, yes. the, the, what, uh, you just noticed something. To, uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm saying that we are going to do uh, a, a portion yes. that says uh, that brings about restriction. 
So, and I, I, will, I want to refer that to Senator Sam. He has to re re delete that part. So let us, let's not deviate from the debate. The okay, debate let, me, let, let, me, let me conclude my... So now you have heard the debate they are doing. The, this is to show you and to tell you the owners of the land. Cows. Cows. And if you hear what um, Senator Papi was saying about they are not allowed to move, out, move around with guns, it will tell you that they know everything and they know the cause of the problem and they know those who are causing the problem. Why are they fighting Simon Ekba? Why are they fighting Mazen Namdekami? Why are they fighting innocent agitators who are looking to you know, separate themselves from this evil? Why are they fighting them? Why is Namdekano in jail? Why are they releasing the people who are causing the problem if they know the cause of the problem? That is to tell you the true citizens of this nation. And you must start now to begin to fight for your own right to live and to have a permanent solution, which is to create your own country and rule it with a semblance of dignity, respect, and rule of law. And with people who have the same culture, the same thinking, the same mindset. Not people who have an archaic, or will I call it, um, 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 you know, a skewed mentality. A skewed mentality. People should be able to reason fine and understand that it is time for us to move a step ahead to better our lives and not remain in this dungeon where we find ourselves. And if we continue to go like this, it means things will go wrong. And in the next 10, 20 years, the way you will find yourself, you will not like it. Thank you for listening as you continue to push ahead to ensure that we liberate ourselves. Biafra first.